catering press was set up by Barry Tullett when he worked at Glasgow originally um, and when he arrived at Lincoln he asked me to be involved because I was already making artist books so we sort of work as a small collective um, various people come in and we work on various projects sometimes um, they can be group projects but mostly we actually work independently of each other um, the press is used for just very limited editions, it's, just, it's only a proofing press, uh, so it's not really capable of sort of doing lots and lots of runs, so 50 is probably our maximum amount really that we can sort of do on the proofing press. The press that we've got here, the Farley Proofing Press, is actually a self-inking press. So the ink goes onto the rollers, you ink it, you ink the image, the paper goes on, and it is a very manual thing. So you're actually doing, you're physically pulling the press over the ink onto the paper and onto the, to the blocks themselves or the type itself. Um, it's something that enables you to, to work in a very different way and get different results. Even though you're working with type, every print is different. So, um, you know, you can over-ink to get different impressions, you can under-ink. So yeah, it's, it's a lovely process, something that I really enjoy. We were recently invited to work on a project set by Rose Gridniff and Andrew Haslam from Brighton and um, they invited Lincoln as people that they knew worked with Letterpress and they set a project called Six by Six which involves three members of staff working with three students to produce a body of work and the idea was that you didn't go any further than six metres from your actual print room and you produced a body of work that reflected those six metres. So the final pieces were all six um, six centimetres by six centimetres. Um, it went forward for an exhibition and it also became a book. So it was quite interesting working with students who had never experienced letterpress before. So, um, and again, you know, that, that they really sort of under, got to, uh, to understand how time consuming it is. I think, you know, when you're working with something like wood type on a press like this, it does sort of take you back to the, to the days of Gutenberg and, you know, the very first uh, printing press. It's great when you get students involved and you see them enthusiastic for, for really old processes and I think that's why it's important um, that, that you know, to be asked to do the 6x6 six six project you know, and to be highlighted as one of those courses at Lincoln you know, that is involved with sort of keeping old traditions alive.